are you? I am good. How are you? I'm good. So um, this is the second time we're meeting. We met over at uh, MTV Movie TV Awards, TV Awards, whatever they call them now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were, you were with Addison and you were talking about this movie. And now yeah. everyone's going to see it. Yes. You nervous? I think it's always a little nerve wracking. Um, obviously, you know, because it is a remake and everything, you want to make everybody happy. Mm-hmm. So, and you're kind of, uh, I'm putting my own spin on a, on a character that everybody knows and loves. So I got to make sure that I just hope I did it justice and everybody's happy with it. So yeah, it's a little nerve wracking. So let's talk about the original. Had you seen the original when you signed, you know, it, it, it has, it has that cult classic thing but not everyone has seen the original she's all that so um had you seen the original before you signed on yeah yeah so i actually well i watch rom-coms and romantic movies a lot that's my thing I usually that's that's what i usually consume on a daily basis so, <laughs> <laughs> i had seen it multiple times and then uh obviously i tried to make sure that i you know i had the essence of it going into it so i watched it uh i can't remember it was like four or five times Mm -hmm. just to make sure just to cover all my bases you know Mm -hmm. sure i was picking up on every little thing that could pop up in our script uh and like i said try to make everybody happy on fans of the original but also people coming in that have no clue what she's all that is <laughs> and then make them fans of it so they can go back and watch the original as well so tell us what's what i mean i know it you know it but i want you to tell everyone the big difference between she's all that and he's all that besides the title being different <laughs> <laughs> um i mean the main difference uh you know i keep well i mean it's it you know the genders are flipped that's the biggest difference that's a big difference <laughs> and, you know, that's in the title but the other big difference i keep saying is is you know this really is centered around the social media aspect mm-hmm. um and how that's come into play a lot in the last 20 years because when she's all that came out that that didn't exist <laughs> nope it did not <laughs> you know so it, it's taken that into consideration and working that into the world and, and how it affects, uh, you know, when you really get down to it, it how it affects us human beings and, and how the world really runs now. So it's, it's actually, it's quite interesting uh, if you take a deeper look into it and start to realize how the social media makes everybody, makes human beings tick. But then it gets really meta because you have Addison Ray, who is, you know, the biggest TikTok star playing this influencer. What did you think when you first heard she was cast? Did you know who she was? Were you a fan? Are you a TikToker? Uh, <laughs> well, that was the that was the funny thing is is uh, when I was going out for it, um, I met with the producers Jennifer and uh, Andrew, and they they had told me that Addison was cast, um, and. I, I didn't, I, I didn't have TikTok um, and I didn't know who she was. Um, really? So, wow. Yeah. I'm not, I have, <laughs> I have a presence on social media, but you right. know, it's, it's, uh, it's not my job. Uh, so I, I, I post what I like to post. <laughs> That's about <laughs> it. Um, so I, I, I did I actually didn't know who she was and until I met her, I didn't even like, research or anything i'm i'm very big about not trying to research people sometimes if i know i'm going to talk to them or work with them because i want to mm-hmm. get a feel for who they are the human uh face to face rather than right. <laughs> you know here if there's something bad on the internet or if mm-hmm. great things and then they end up not being great you know you never know uh so i like to make that uh, opinion for myself but I was, I mean, I guess it was like any normal casting. I, you know, I was excited to get to work and, and just play with it and act off as someone who was also uh, putting in the work and happy to just play with the script and, and, and go from there. So, yeah, so let's talk about Addison, because obviously there are the haters out there who are like, she's only getting the job because she has a gazillion followers. And, you know, when I spoke to you guys, you know, she was talking about taking acting lessons. What was she like as a, you know, a real newbie starring in a movie? 
Well, that's what I've been explaining to people is, you know, everybody has their own process coming in and, and what they want to do. Um, I mean, my process changes every single time. Uh, but going in, she was, she put in the work, you know, she did audition for this. It's not like mm. just were like, hey, Addison, please do that. You know, right. she auditioned for it. She put in, she put in the time. She had to send in the self tapes and everything. So they, you know, everybody had to okay her and, and she did an amazing job because she did put in the work. Um, mm. You know, I think there was multiple times. I'm really big about my lines, but I screw up a lot, but I, I know. <laughs> I know she knew her lines way better than I knew mine. So <laughs> she was she was on top of it the entire time. And that's what I keep telling people is you would think that she's done it mm. for years, you know. Uh, so it was it was it was really really nice. What was your most fun day on set? Ooh, the most fun day. Um, oh, that's a good one. Cause there's, I mean, we had, so we, as much as I hate night shoots, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all the great Gatsby uh, party stuff, mm -hmm. was, some of that was, was the most fun nights because I mean, everybody was in one place for those few nights and we're obviously, we had to flip over like midweek or something, <laughs> and, you know, everybody's, everybody's trying to get through the day um even though it's it's middle of the night and i don't know i just get this i get these weird uh i get real weird around like three or four a.m where i just can't <laughs> stop laughing at anything or at every i keep laughing at everything uh so th some of those were some of the some of the more fun fun days i had fun every day but those were those were fun because we were just all we were just all <laughs> super goofy uh, so those are definitely some of the best best days there. So let's talk about you do show off some of your Cobra Kai moves in the movie. Were those moves in the script beforehand, or were they once you were cast? Oh, guess what? We could do some Cobra Kai moves. Um, it was actually in the script, the original oh, script. No. Um, I was I was reading through that when I was reading through that. I was like, oh. I can do this. <laughs> um, I actually think there was a, uh, oh, in the, the original, there was something, um, I remember in the original script, which they ended up taking out uh, because mm. I think they wanted to stay away from, from you know, that kind of world, so. Too it, much Cobra Kai. Yeah, it, it was, uh, it was it, the, like one of the ending moves was uh, Cameron sweeping, sweeping the leg. <laughs> but I th after I got cast, they were like, well, "We're gonna, we're gonna just we're gonna change this a bit because <laughs> I think it's a little too much. I think it's just a little too much." <laughs> They're like, um, "That scene where you're in the uh, karate studio, let's get rid of that." <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> um, I love what's really great about the movie. One of the great things about it is the representation. I mean, you're seeing so many different faces of color, obviously gender, sexuality. I love this, you know, the side story about, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna give it away, but an LGBTQ um, couple. Yeah. Um, how important is that for you to be part of projects that have that diversity and have that representation? Um, to me, it's super important because I obviously, I mean, we're living in a day and age where you know, everybody doesn't get that opportunity. Right? Yeah. And we're really trying to, I do think the business is working on it and we're mm -hmm. moving in the right direction, but I think we're a very far away from where we need to be. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it's good to see that being represented in a movie. So it can, you know, more and more people can see it because somewhere like Netflix, especially where it gets all over the world, yeah. um, I think is a very important thing that that needs to be continue, obviously. And like I said, as much as, you know, you'd love it to be perfect, we're very far away and <laughs> keep chugging along and, and make sure that we continue to move in that direction. Um, but I think it, it's, it's extremely important, I do. Cobra Kai, 
Yes. Up for an Emmy. Let's let's look at this. <laughs> Outstanding comedy series. You're going up against Emily in Paris, Hacks, The Kaminsky Method, Ted Lasso, Blackish, 1015, and The Flight Attendant. Mm -hmm. were, be honest with me. Were you expecting Cobra Kai to be nominated in Outstanding Comedy? I wasn't. Um... I wasn't <laughs> um, <laughs> mostly because I, it was it was just the the process of Cobra Kai over the past year and a half has been yeah. surprising, you know. So I, I don't think any of us were expecting it, um, nor do I want to expect anything. I, I love <laughs> what I do, and we just try to make a good show, and that's all that matters, you know. Uh, so obviously, completely grateful i mean <laughs> that doesn't that just doesn't happen so it's incredible, <laughs> you know um but just even this entire process of of moving to netflix and then us having a cult following on youtube but but people not really knowing who we were right and, and within a couple months becoming basically one of the biggest shows in the entire world mm -hmm. and then and it's 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 insane and now yeah this this uh this year continuing to be one of the one of the biggest shows on netflix history and yeah. now being nominated for an emmy <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> and other incredible shows i mean no i wasn't expecting it, but i am i'm completely happy and uh it's it's nice to see that everything we've done the past few years, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how, you know, how many pe eyes we had on it. We were still mm -hmm. putting in work. Everybody was, uh, mm -hmm. and it's a big, uh, you know, it's just a big moment. I feel like for everybody involved in the show, just because we have put that work in for so many years, um, just because we, we just enjoyed it. You know, we enjoy what we do and we want to keep going on it as long as we possibly can and just make just make people happy. So have all of you gotten together to celebrate? You know, this is a weird time. When do you get together? When do you Zoom? When do you not? Yeah, no, we I, we def, we haven't all gotten together. Um, I think everybody's I mean, everybody's all over the place at the moment, yeah. um, especially, too, with with obviously the Delta variant. I mean, yep. it's a little, <laughs> makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, and obviously, like I said, everybody's kind of doing some, something, you know, I'm busy with he's all that. And then obviously Sholo was not <laughs> do it, but he was busy <laughs> working on getting himself a, a DC superhero movie, right? Um, I mean, yeah, I, I just met him for the first time the other night, mm -hmm. just like the day after he was at Suicide Squad, it was the day after he found out he got the role. Did you guys have like a group text going that just said, holy crap, we just got nominated for an Emmy? Well, it, it was funny. I was in, I was actually, I had just arrived in Italy. Uh, oh. Literally <laughs> a few minutes before they announced it. Um, and every, there wasn't a group chat, but everybody was kind of texting each other. Seven, right. And the first, the first text, I got from Ralph, uh, which was which was pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. I can't I can't remember what he said, but the first text I got was from Ralph, and then after wow. that, it was just uh, it was just texting everybody, you know, saying congratulations. Um, so I was I was pretty out of it. I was excited, but I had also <laughs> I had also been up for like sixteen hours, so I was. <laughs> <laughs> so. Next season, new season. Tell me everything. I know you want to. Um, <laughs> let's see, uh, we're fighting a big supervillain. His name is Thanos. Uh, <laughs> half the population. Oh, that's not our show. Uh, that's a movie. That's Avengers. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, this season is. I mean, the world just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> getting bigger and bigger i mean everybody knows you know silver's back mm -hmm. uh, everybody's wanted that for a long time you know yeah he was uh i mean specifically in the third movie he was pretty he's pretty crazy <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but this season i mean the world's bigger 
I guess the thing I can say about my character is, um, you know, he's he is turning to the dark side because so many people have screwed him over in the past, and mm-hmm. you know, he's kind of tired of that. Um, however, through this season, he has a lot of growing to do, but I feel like this season is the moment, uh, specifically in his life, where this is where he's going to decide what road he's going to take you know Mm. what road is he going to take and it's kind of going to influence the rest of his life um and he does make that decision uh, Mm -hmm. you're not going to tell me me what it is uh -uh. (laughs) no but he does have he has two ways he could kind of go and he makes that decision by the end um and it was it was very exciting to explore all of that because there was a bunch mm-hmm. of things I was trying to mess with through the entire season. I'm, what do I, what word do I want to use? <laughs> I'm interested to see, to see where Robbie's uh, next, you know, kind of, <sighs> where the next portion of his life goes. Mm-hmm. I think this was a big this was a big learning season for him. So I'm I'm excited for people to see and for people to see that and connect to that. How many seasons do you see Cobra Kai going? I don't know. I've I was trying to do the math the other day. I mean I would do it forever, but I think <laughs> I was the math the other day. I think I'm 17. I think uh everyone else is is 16. Um however, I do think in season three we're still in 2019 um so we're currently two years behind current time <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do the math on it because mm-hmm. you're trying to think. i i mean the whole idea is you know it's an under 18 you know that's, that's what right. drove everything is everything's under 18 karate uh you know tournament um so uh i mean by the time we turn 18, we'll, maybe, we'll, <laughs> maybe who knows? I need to talk to the writers to see where they're going. Maybe we're going to join the UFC. I don't know. <laughs> Co- Co- Cobra Kai seniors. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How um, difficult was it going back to shooting during the pandemic? Um, it was. It was. It was definitely interesting. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, we shot. He's all that during the pandemic as well. Yeah. Um. It's, it's weird. Uh, you know, we're getting COVID tests every other day, you know, to try to stay mm-hmm. safe. And then um, you, no one can really hang out with each other. You really are only hanging out on set when in reality, you usually get to hang out with everybody off right. of set. You know, you'll go out to eat, you know, have, you know, go do something on the weekends with everybody. And that just wasn't, wasn't possible. Um, and I'm kind of, I'm very much a clean freak and I don't, like <laughs> so I was freaking out. Uh, yeah. I actually have, I have I found out through the pandemic, I have OCD. Um, <laughs> so I had to, I've actually, it was very hard for me cause I had to get used to it. Um, mm. um, and being around people, I actually. What, what did you do to get used to? What do you do to, you know, there's intimate scenes, you're on top of each other. Meditation. <laughs> <laughs> breathing Is it meditation yeah yeah it was it was a lot it's a lot of meditation and breathing um just to kind of i've, I've gotten better now um i've gotten better now just because i think uh all the vaccines and everything makes everybody feel a little bit safer yeah um so i'm not as bad but i'm still i still have to prepare myself you know and do breathing mm. and, <laughs> and even though everybody's getting tested and we're wearing masks as soon as they say cut um it, it's still nerve-wracking it's interesting yeah we're in a business where they're telling us that you need to wear masks and we can't do that right we right. Our, our job right. requires us to take our masks off right, right. <laughs> uh, so it, it was it was nerve-wracking um but you know if, if you just breathe through it and, and remember to have fun and and stay as safe as possible and everybody has uh you know, on he's all that 
where there was no shutdowns. Um, everybody they were supposed to, and we all stayed safe. And Cobra Kai, everybody stayed safe. Did awesome. We supposed to, and we we did great. So. So let's talk. Let's talk about Sholo, Blue yeah. Beetle. Yeah, that's pretty I, awesome. I was I was extremely as soon as I found. Well, okay, I'm a big I'm a big superhero guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I've you know read comic books forever and and superhero uh, just movies, comics, anything, TV shows. I'm just obsessed with. I could go on for hours. Uh, mm -hmm. so as soon as I saw, I called him right away. I was like, dude, <laughs> I was like, congratulations, you know, because that's huge. Um, and specifically too, you know, the lat what we talked about Latinx community is, is, mm -hmm. no, you know, they don't, it's not really a super, there is no superhero. No, movie. there isn't. There is no superhero movie with uh, Latinx as the lead, you know? Yeah. And that's gigantic. So it's, it's like I said, it did. It's that just try to continuation of moving in the right direction, you know, mm -hmm. just gotta keep, keep, keep moving there. Um, so no, I, I was extremely happy for him. That's right awesome. Uh, yeah. I can't, I mean, I, I can't imagine how he's feeling because when I heard it, I, <laughs> I, I still think about it and I'm like, Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw in an interview did the other day that your dream role is Robin. Yeah, yeah, uh, it is. I actually, ever since I found out Robert Pattinson was playing Batman, um, he's one of my favorite actors. Mm -hmm. I was like, I need to play his Robin. I was like, that, <laughs> but that is that is that is my role. I need I need that one so badly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if he's I don't know if he's gonna have a Robin, but I don't know. I'm gonna start convincing him that I I need to be written in. I mean. Obviously, it helps. I already have the fight training. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's fun because I uh, he's actually always been one of my favorites because um, I grew up watching the and reading the tight Teen Titans uh, mm -hmm. the cartoon and everything. So yeah, that was my even when I was little. I always wanted to be. I always wanted to be Robin. Never Batman. You wanted to be Robin. Robin. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hey, if they're if Robert Pattinson is mm -hmm. Robin, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight for that one. I'm gonna go for that one. That was that one's gonna be my role. <laughs> well, now what about okay? Because we're talking about representation. Just well, yesterday, the day before, they released that Batman comic, and Robin is bisexual. Would you play a bisexual Robin? Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, when I was even when I was uh, I did uh, the Fosters. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, and and I had my character had a relationship with Jude, and I did that yeah. when I was when I was fourteen. Or That's incredible. Um, I even played. Uh, I even played. How oh, it was an episode of Major Crimes, I believe. Wow, I'm surprised. Uh, <laughs> where I was, um, I was. Oh, I was probably like. 13 and i was i was playing a kid that was a boy that was that wanted to transition you know was transgender mm -hmm. and was currently transitioning into into a girl um and i mean like i said it's just representation and and i mean like why why wouldn't i because i don't where, where did where does that come from for you because there would be a lot of guys who are 13 or you know and much older who would never want to do roles like that, who would have fears about doing roles like that. Where did, where does that um, openness come from for you? I, I just, I think people should live their life. You know, mm. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. If that's, if that's you, I want to accept you as you, you know, right. and, and that's not, like we said, is not represented very often. Um, mm. And if I have the opportunity to represent something like that, I mean, that's incredible. If they're willing to write it, then you know what? Of course, I'm going to play it. Why not? Right. You know what Good I mean? What's, what's the big, what's what? I mean, for me, it's like, I think it should be represented, you know? And if mm -hmm. people don't want to play that role to be playing that role, then I mean, that's, that's stupid in my opinion. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, 
because that's I don't think that's right. Uh, but you know, people. That's well. Um, listen, that great. that's pretty. That's pretty incredible of you because, you know, young people have to hear from people like you and have to see the work of people like you do and saying, hey, I'll play a bisexual uh, Robin or, you know, on the foster, like, you know, we kids, young people are searching for that. And it's pretty amazing that you're there. Well, and I, well, and I agree with that too, because I do, I do come from the Midwest and mm-hmm. No, it can be it can be a little uh, <laughs> conservative sometimes. Yeah. And you know, growing up, I people aren't exposed to the world, and I was lucky enough to have come out to LA, where it's a completely different world than the Midwest. Mm. And my eyes were open to that from a very young age. That I was like, yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. Yeah. And and. If I can do that and I'm allowed to do that, why not? Like we talked about is, is, you know, we're, I'm in a, we're in a business where this content can get all over the world and people can see it all over the world and you can expose even, even, even young kids to a bigger world than just their hometown sometimes and see mm. the world in a different light. And I think, like you said, that'll, that'll continue to help move in the right direction. Um, and as long as we can do that and, and get that message out there, I think that's, I think that's great.